Hello everyone, how you guys doing? I'm just doing a follow-up video here about my uh, Macrostomus uh, Fry. Um, I think I made a video about a couple of weeks, uh, about uh, 10 days ago when these guys newly hatched. They're now uh, pretty big, swimming around, eating everything under the sun, everything I throw in them. And this video is just to give you an idea how I moved them from a smaller tank to a bigger tank. So if you remember in the previous video I had them with the male, he released in a 5.5 gallon tank and they were there for about 10 days or so and I think it's time to move them to a bigger tank now, this is a, a 10 gallon. Uh, so I think about, I have about here about 20 plus fries, um, let's see how this go in this 10 gallon and if, any, if anything I'll just move them somewhere else. Uh, it's not the best quality picture because what's inside in there is a Tupperware and you know it's plastic and you cannot see them very well. But nonetheless, this is how I want to introduce them in there. The risky part was getting them from the five gallon to this Tupperware. I hope I didn't lose anything. I you know did my best uh, to keep an eye on every uh, on the empty tank. I don't think I saw anything, but you know, let's see what happens. So what I did, I just poured the water in this Tupperware and then I'm introducing this Tupperware here uh, into this 10 gallon tank. And what I like to do, let me see if I could do it with one hand, is just submerge the Tupperware and let the water mix slowly and let the fries actually swim out. As you can see some of them already are swimming. Uh, but this is how I want to introduce them into this new water, which is a uh, This is a tank that I've been cycling for a couple of weeks, so uh, you know, I'm not concerned about anything uh, Any water crashing or anything like that pretty much is the same water uh, That they use in the in the other tank and in addition to that uh, they're right like pretty much right below each other so the water temperature although I should have taken the temperature to see what was different but I usually take the water temperature between the uh, this the tanks down here and the tank up here and it's about one degree Fahrenheit so it's not a, a big deal uh, but in addition to that this is why I'm doing this acclimation or this water introduction like this very slowly to give them a chance to kind of uh, uh, you know get used to the new water acclimate to the new water uh, I've done this many times and I've been successful moving fries around like that you know as you know macrostomus fries are so fragile uh, and you just want to make sure you're doing the best for them so this is uh, in my experience how it's worked best for me um, and now what I'm going to do is in this five gallon this five gallon I'm going to move some fries in there or oh, some someone that are getting to the stage of a juvenile so I'll make a video about them as well and down here are the other juvies fries that I was telling you about it's pretty murky right now because uh, everything stirred up the water but you can see there's about 10 of them and it's just the guppy that I have there with them just to keep them company so and you can see I have another tank next to it back there the other Max are looking at them like all oh, food <laughs> but anyways just wanted to show you what I'm doing here moving things around and hopefully when I get better quality of uh, the water I'll make a better video and like I said these are about 10 so we'll keep an eye on them here in this 5.5 uh, see how they grow I'll do water changes at least twice a week make sure the water is nice and fresh but uh, like I said just wanted to give you uh, an idea of what I'm doing here in my room Take care, everybody.